So in terms of Saudi, um, one of the things that we've really seen is that the top end of the listed companies, the level of sophistication of investor relations has been incredible. And it's without a doubt sort of the best in class. But one of the things that I was talking to Mohammed al Ramey from, from uh, the Saudi exchange is how we need to actually get that quality up at the small cap and the mid cap range. So that's a real sort of area of focus and development. Sure. So, so I mean, taking the, the first question, um, what's my thoughts on the conference? I think it really is indicative of the confidence in the capital markets in the kingdom. The attendance here today has been absolutely incredible. There's been the record number of attendances uh, at a, an Amira annual conference, which is amazing. So we had 309 uh, registrations. And what was great is to see that everybody attended from 9.30 but stayed in the room until the day was over, which you don't often get, which was really good to see. So I think from a conference perspective, we hit the really key themes that are hitting investor relations. Everybody is here to contribute. We hear you know, different sides of the story, whether it's from investor relations offices, whether it's from the sell side, the buy side, or the C-suite. In terms of, um, you know, what has Saudi been particularly doing? I think, you know, the IPO pipeline has been incredible throughout this year. Mm -hmm. 39 listings. Mohammed al Ramey was talking about already this year. We're not even finished. So we've got the rest of Q4. But is that going to be sustained through next year? I think, I think that the level, even if the figures are just not that many in terms of comparative to this year, there'll still be more than there are globally. There's too much volatility in Asia, in Europe, and America. I am just seeing that there's so much in the pipeline that will come. So I think it will be sustained throughout next year. Maybe the levels will go down a little bit, but still, the numbers will be very, very positive. So I think the real major sort of market developments from the regulator particularly, is possibly around ESG. So in terms of ESG reporting and disclosure, we talked about the push and pulls of ESG. There's a cultural sort of push to sort of say, well, this is how we should be doing things. But it's also what the regulator is actually, you know, making mandatory for issuers. And I think, you know, from my perspective, you might see from the CMA a little bit more of sort of regulation around ESG disclosure. But otherwise, there's been so many changes uh, within the kingdom in terms of law and regulation. There's been a new Companies Act that's just come out. Um, so the rules have are, are, are been developed pretty, pretty massively over the last year. So one of the things is, you know, Mira is obviously its goal is to promote uh, investor relations best practice and also best practice in corporate governance. One of the things that we did was we looked at Saudi as, as probably the most active capital markets in the region. We actually built our own Saudi chapter here locally. We then have our own Saudi board and we have regular board meetings just the same as we do for our main board. So as far as Miro is concerned, we had to have people on the ground. But what has been critical is our relationship with the regulators and the exchanges and particularly the Saudi exchange. And you've seen it today. You know, the keynote speaker, Mohammed al -Ramay, absolutely fantastic. But that's born out of a long-term relationship. I went to go and see Mohammed about six months, six years ago. And now we sit here and he's giving the keynote speech. So that's really sort of one of the developments that Mira has supported the exchange and the regulators in terms of education around investor relations. I think... Definitely, foreign direct investment has increased into Saudi, into the Middle East in general. And I think it's that transparency and that investor relations best practice, which is making foreign investors much more comfortable, whether it's large asset managers or high net worth individuals. It's definitely on investors' radar, whether you're from Asia, whether you're from the US, you can see the real deltas in valuation. And there's a real opportunity here in terms of the markets themselves. They're very liquid. There's huge opportunities. But what that feeds in is, you know, it's, it's an attractive market, but it's now getting much better regulated. And you're seeing much better investor relations as a result. 